What the hell? Oh my God, no way. Hey you. Hello beautiful people. My name is Savannah, but I'm Erin and I got my Savvy C and welcome or welcome back to Savvy C Scoop. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Savvy C and welcome, welcome back to the Savvy C Scoop. If you're new here, this is a channel all about traveling, learning languages, and navigating life as a 20-something. And guys, check out my view in three, two, one. Ah! Isn't she gorgeous? I love it here. And I'll share later on how I pulled this off and how I'm living here rent-free. Buenos dias! It's your girl Savvy C. Welcome, welcome back to Savvy C Scooping! Today's video is special and fun because not only is it a travel vlog, but it's my first ever proper road trip in Mexico. Estoy en Mexico. Today we are going to Guanajanto, which is a, a state in Mexico. Very important because this state was the home of the Mexican independence. Viva Mexico. Vamos, vamos, dale, dale. And yeah, I'm really excited to explore it and see it. And you did hear me right. I did say we, because I will not be alone. I was invited on this trip, actually. And because of that, this vlog will be a bit different than usual, come not by myself fully. So I respect for them. And I want to, you know, cramp their style, cramp their privacy. So it'll be a bit different, but still fun. And of course, I kind of bring all my beautiful travel buddies with me. So stay tuned. Like if you do. Subscribe for more. And comment down below if you've ever been to Guanajanto. If you like what you see, any more recommendations from me, holla at you, girl. But this is going to be fun. It's going to be a fun day, so let's get into it. Lo siento to all the beautiful Mexicans watching. <laughs> I've been butchering the pronunciation of this city. It's Guanajato. Sorry, take a shot every time I say it wrong. <laughs> First stop of the day was Museo Casa Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera is by far, I want to say it's side with Frida Kahlo, in my opinion, but the most famous artist to come out of Mexico. He was born in Guanajato and then moved to Mexico City when he was six years old. So this is his childhood home and just really showing and sharing the origins of his life. That's him with Frida right there, iconic. These murals are a bit deep, but really interesting. And it was just a great museum. I highly recommend that's a good first stop. Then head over to the center of the city. This is kind of like a square. There's a few of these and it's like leading to the main road to go to Teatro Juarez, which again is stunning. This is a colonial town, a UNESCO world heritage site that's preserved and you can tell the colors the style of buildings everything now for the ticket office to get these tickets is 35 pesos each it's in the side there so you just go around the corner down that little mini market area that side street and then you can find the ticket booth there and guys look at how beautiful this place is i literally gasped when i walked in of just the vastness of it the detail the design the lighting everything like just you can tell this place has some money back in the day, still does to an extent. This was where silver trade really took off in most of the 1800s, 1700s in Mexico. And you can tell because this money was well spit and it just, it was really, it's always so fascinating to me to see these places that still hold up to this day that are historical and prominent. Then after that, it was time to get some food, some comida. And I headed over to El Truco Siete, seven. And guys, oh, it was good. I had mole for the first time. I didn't show it. I didn't get it on my plate. But the wine was good, too. I had some proper Mexican wine for the first time. And then this is one of my favorite parts, too, and something that you definitely have to do when you're in Guanajuato is take the funicular. And you take it all the way up. Now, if you're scared of heights, just, you know, close your eyes and hold on to something and, you know, have a little gospel moment. But it's well worth the view, which you guys will see in a second. Guys, look at this view. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, bonita, muy bonita, and it's 70 pesos round trip, that's it. Yep, now you heard me, 35 pesos one way, 70 round trip for this view, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all those colors, that's the university in the middle there, this is the university town, and ah, oh, it was just absolutely gorgeous. I never got old of this view, and then wait for it, wait for it, what the hell? The scream I scrubbed when I saw that. Ooh, wee, I just almost fell off <laughs> the, the border. Then I got some ice cream. And also, Wanahato is known for its mini tunnels. And so I tried my best to, to illustrate and show you guys how many tunnels the city is built. 
on a tunnel, around a tunnel, in a tunnel. It was really, really cool to see. And again, these structures have been around for a minute. So just impressive to see the architecture here, the style here, and all the colors as well. And you'll see it in a second as we come out of the mini tunnels, just how much color is around here. Because in San Miguel, it's limited. I forget why. Someone told me, but I'm like drawing a blank. If you know, let me know in the comments. But it's not limited there. And so it's a full, full paintbrush. And then we were off and headed back to San Miguel. And that was my day in Guanajuato. Oh, no, Guanajuato. I said it wrong. There's a little bathroom break. Here's me headed off. Made it back home in time for the beautiful sunset. And of course, I'm going to take you guys to see it. Isn't she gorgeous? I love it. Never gets old. Oh, we yeah, had a breath from those steps. <laughs> but never gets old. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm back. Gonna shower, get changed, and then we're gonna head back out again around 7.30. Go to our art gallery opening, get dinner, drinks, and see where the night takes us. Hey, it's been a Mojanto. It was so much fun. So beautiful, really vibrant. It's the capital of the state, which I was like, 80% sure of it, I want to say at the beginning, but it's the capital. University town, they're on spring break right now, so it's pretty empty, but in a good way. And yeah, just fun energy, bright colors, a lot going on there. So a really cool place. There's a lot more to do than I did today, but in a good way of just, we weren't rushed, we weren't, you know, just wanted to see and explore the city, not like bang, 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 bang which I normally do. <laughs> I normally, I'm good for running through <laughs> a day full of activities that I'm burnt out. So it was nice just to chill, Walk around, explore the city a bit. So, I'm about to go get showered, change, and get ready for this event tonight. Then I got ready again, and guess what song I'm listening to? Three, two, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shouts to Beyonce, Cowboy Carter. Comment your favorite songs, like your top five, in the comments below. Holler at me. Then you got dressed for off to, and went off to Centro for this, this opening of an art gallery. I'm blanking on the name right now, but it's right behind the parochia. And it was a really cool concept because of the four artists that were part of this. They made all this work in San Miguel in three weeks. So it was a cool, like, an experiment. So it was really cool to see that they got to mid. The night has come to an end. And oh my goodness, guys, what a day today was. That's the beauty of Mexico, Mexico, Guadalajara, Guadalajara, <laughs> disculpe, and San Miguel, de Ande. Anything can happen, you can go in the best way possible. So I'm about to walk up my little pal, screw you and sleep and because i need it it's been quite the week but a fun exciting day of exploring so thanks for watching to the end i appreciate it let me know in the comments if you've been to guanajanto would you go in the future what other things you recommend if you went there i only saw two three things but did a walk a lot of walking around and exploring so if you have more like activities put them in the comments put people on thanks for making it to the end i appreciate it as always i'm saying my love to wherever you are in the world where you're watching this like for more subscribe to see more and be my travel buddy and i'll see you in the next one bye